when the CARICOM effort was aborted, most people seem to have forgotten that it was in the first instance on the advice of the Attorney General's chamber that this thing was aborted. Because that advice suggested that the law did not provide for us to issue the kind of order we had gone to them to consult on. Everybody's shouting out there that the Moore case caused the, abort the, the abortion of the recount on the CARICOM. The Moore case was in the frame, but there was no point in the Moore, no point in time in the Moore case that there was any ruling given by a judge who said we could not continue with that recount, though the case sought to deal with that matter. And the final decision of the court, again, did not interfere with the recount. So it is not true to say that the Moore case interfered with the recount in the sense that there was some interim or other decision that held up the recount. What held up the recount or stopped the recount, for all intents and purposes, the level of GCOM was the advice we got from the AG's chambers.